everybody, I'm the Bigglesworth. Welcome back to Sev Tech Ages. Yeah, buddy, look, the chateau is right here. Whoa, green to purple. <laughs> You're supposed to be green. Why are you changing color? That didn't make any sense. Oh, man. Yeah, so I have made my way back over here after making a long, long trek to, oh, the Ender Gate. That's right. Finally, finally got over there, located stuff, ran to the nether, got some materials, ran around like a fool at night, got some more materials. Now, I had to make Ender Pearls from, um, let's see, what was it? I gotta remember this recipe. You kill Endermen, they drop this ender dust now what was cool is sometimes endermen would drop more than one ender dust i also want to show you this so a few episodes back i come over here to the hunting dimension where we've got this really really cool mob farm that we built way way back i want to say in like age two or something just keep loading you take forever but it's okay we'll wait not for long but we'll wait <laughs> but right here in this hunting dimension We've got this really cool farm that we built way, 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 way up in the sky, almost up at build limit. And so you can see like um, arrows and walls where mobs have been fighting each other, stuff like that. And for the longest time, mobs wouldn't spawn around here. But then here recently, I came back over here to see if I can get some Endermen to spawn. I got a whole bunch of creatures spawning. Only saw two like little baby Endermen, and I actually had to jump down there and try to kill them. And whoa, okay, we'll just go through the portal. <laughs> And all they would do is run away from me. So I spent a lot of time in that realm trying to get bad guys. And basically, once it would be nighttime here, I would jump back over here and would would scout for Endermen. And crazily enough, we'll jump over here and I'll show you where I saw the majority. Maybe we can spot one more. Maybe we can spot another sneaky, sneaky Enderman. But basically what I would do is I would run over here, stand on the walls, and just kind of look around. Because there's a lot of mobs that will spawn out here. Now, after a certain amount of time, you get enough of these mobs spawning. Oh, here's another one of these strange player-type mobs. Who are you? Hmm? Huh? FPS addiction? Okay. Kind of looks like a guy from Halo, if you ask me. Let's hop back over here. We'll be safe. But yeah, I would basically run over here. You get a bunch of mobs spawning. If I didn't see an Enderman, I would run over there. And so this area would kind of unload. And then when I came back, it would load new mobs. Took me a better part of an afternoon. Uh-oh, did we break them? Nope. Well, those are resilient carrots, I tell you what. But managed to finally get all the materials I needed, which is just awesome. So we can do this on screen. Whoop. Eye of Enders. We have got nine of them. So what first thing I need to do is let's go ahead and unload some of this junk. Now here's what's going to be very kind of like iffy. I have never fought the Ender Dragon by myself in vanilla Minecraft. Um, actually was going to try and do that for um, my solo Let's Play series and just haven't gotten to that point yet. I fought the Ender Dragon... One time with my wife years ago, as a, oh, I had three blaze powder right there. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm not going to, I'm trying to figure out what do you need to fight an ender dragon. I don't think I need any of those. We're going to need some more arrows. I don't think we need torches. We definitely need food. Let's see here. Um, I've watched enough people do this to know that basically what I need to do is have... We've got these boxes over here. Let's take them. We need to make like a little kit. A little survival kit. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a bed. We're going to take some storage with some food and stuff. Where are those? Here we go. And let's go ahead and smack. Oh, I saw a shield too. Nope. There we go. So we'll pick that back up. What do we do? Break it? Take forever to break. But we can take you in our inventory. Isn't there a way to just like pick it up? Without picking it up? Get far away, maybe it was. That's what it was. You get too close and it wants to pick it up. Okay, so I'll need a shield for certain. Um, I've got some weapons. We need to make some more arrows was one thing. So we're going to look in here. 
Let's take us a stack of feathers. Having that chicken there all that time has finally paid off. And let's see here. Let's look through here. So I've got an ironwood sword with six. That has eight. Extra damage to unarmored targets. Magnetic and efficiency. Let's take that. See, I don't... Okay, durability. It has a high durability, but I don't know... I think the enderbows, if you shoot it, it makes you teleport, doesn't it? Try bow. What does this do? Let's try it. <laughs> Not the enderbow. Let's take Baycock's bow just in case. Oh, here's some arrows. That'll work. What are you, crystal sword? But that's at six. That's an ice sword. Seven and a half. Let's take that as well. And we'll take this just in case. So we're going to take a bunch of different random stuff because, let's see here. Eight, eight, eight. Eight is great. What am I at? Six, four and a half. And that helmet's broken for certain. So let's go ahead and take that and that. What is that? Wait. Okay, that's eight. That's three. And that's six. We'll just go ahead and take that. Naga scale tunic at seven. That's at eight. And I definitely want to keep my bouncy boots of bouncing because I know that the Ender Dragon can throw you way up in the air. We're also going to keep our really cool gloves. Let's see. Resonating wand, linking tool. No, those are just tools. They're not weapons. Okay. Looking good. I think we're looking good. Now, I want to take um, a bed because what we want to do is set our spawn. You know what? Oh, the sun is almost down. So we may have to do an edit because what I'm going to want to do is get over to the portal where the dragon would be at and um, set a spawn by sleeping in a bed. And that way, if I die, I can go right back to fighting. And that's why we're going to have this little care package thing set up. So basically, if we do die, we've got some weapons and stuff that we can grab and just like go straight back into the fight. So let's see here. Um, we need some buckets. Do we have buckets in here? No. Sharpening kits, but I don't think I will need those. Piggy, where did you put all your buckets? You've been moving around fuel. There's a bucket. Let's see here. Nope, don't freeze up on me. I think what I want to do is take two buckets with water, and then that way I can create like an infinite water source. Bucket, bucket, who's got the bucket? <laughs> How is it that I lose so much stuff? Maybe because there's just so much stuff to keep up with in this mod pack. That might be what it is. Nope. Hmm. I know I've got a bucket around here somewhere. I might have to go searching for that off camera as well. Because I think that would be boring watching me just look for buckets forever. In here, maybe? Nope. All right, let's... I, one more place we can search. Because I have been using buckets to move around fuel and stuff. So maybe... And maybe I was using a bucket to move plastic? Nope. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Panic City. But it's daytime, so you guys are friendly. Remember that. Am I picking up any? Nope. And I still didn't come over here and lock these. Okay, we'll just smelt these down. Cast ourselves a bucket. How about that? And then I think over here, say I've been storing up a bunch of food as well. I know we got some potatoes cooking in there. What do we have here? Meef stroganoff. Does that do anything special? Let's take a bowl of meef stroganoff just in case. Take a little bit of flatbread. And I've got some maize wafers. I think that will be I think that'll be good. That should be good. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Um I am going to smelt this iron so I can get myself a bucket made. Let's go ahead and get you out of there. And where is the bucket cast? There we go. So I'm going to get my bucket made. I am going to slingshot myself several hundred blocks away. Let's go ahead and look on the map real quick, and I'll show you. So here we are at the chateau. And where? It, oh, it's way over here. So basically, we have to kind of slingshot and bounce our way, bounce our way. I think right in here is the only lava pools. So it's it's really good. It's like it's a fairly safe trek. And the really cool thing is over here at the Ender Gate, what I did was um where is it? Oh, here it is. Maybe we can zoom in and I can show you. 
So I place, it's right in the middle of the water. So I placed a whole bunch of blocks and like pillared up and made a safe way down. So basically we can get down in there. I know, I know, I did all that stuff off camera. Because that was just a lot of fighting. And, 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 and I really didn't want to do that on camera. <laughs> It's going to be so boring to watch. Let's see here. I think we got, I think we're good for food. I think we'll be all right. We're just going for a fight. We're just spoiling for a fight is what we're doing. But I figured today what we needed to do is we needed to go over and see if we can defeat this dragon because we can't even find our own advancements. There we go. Not Twilight Forest. Um, we're stuck. Right here is where we need to go to go forward. All this other stuff is going to be optional, but we have got to enter the end, locate a stronghold and enter the end dimension. And then that's going to unlock to here, locate course in the end and use the fruit to create enhanced, enhanced ender alloy. Now, the only way we, only way we can get to this stuff, if I'm not mistaken, is you have to defeat the dragon. And then I think it generates the end islands from that point. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to see if Piggy can can fight a dragon and and not not cry himself into oblivion. <laughs> and I'm hoping that it, you know, I mean it is modded, so there's no telling what's going to happen, but I'm really hoping that it's somewhat of an easy fight. I've got some extra cool armor, some extra cool weapons and stuff, and um I've got a gravestone mod, so hopefully it won't be too bad. But yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes, right? <laughs> so like I said, I'm going to make the trek over there. I'm going to get myself ready. I'm going to meet you up above just so you can see it's nighttime. And then we're going to go down and we we got the Eye of Ender. Okay, we are good to go. So I hope to see you over there in just a moment where we are going to fight ourselves a dragon. Now look at that sun go down. Goodbye, sunset. I hope to see you again. I really do. <laughs> And I hope that by by fighting this dragon moon, I will be able to launch myself up and see what in the world are you really made of cheese or not. <laughs> Let's go and hop down in here. Now, uh-oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. I had tried to get rid of all of the different uh, lava down here. Uh-oh. Does that hurt him? Oh, oh, whoa, crazy. It, like, turned him into stone. Come here, you. Go away, you. I'm trying to fight a dragon. Oh, that is cool. And he dropped uh, gravel. <laughs> no, but I, I put sand in here and I poured water over that lava. I was hoping that was going to get rid of the lava monsters. But, oh, I got charcoal out of them, too. Cool. And I've gone ahead and put stuff in here. So what I've decided to do, I, you know what? I don't know if I need this pickaxe or not. Let's leave it here for now. That's just going to be one less thing to try and keep up with. And I don't think that I need building blocks as well. Went ahead and got myself some food. We've got the charm of gluttony, so that's going to let us eat very quickly. Um, crazy. Does that... 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 11, 12... Oh my gosh. Well, I guess I know what I'll be doing tonight. I will be hunting Endermen. Good thing I've still got three blaze rod back at the house, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, everybody, I will see you again in just a moment. All right, everybody. We're back. And I've got one left. One left to go. I've never seen this portal open. Let's see what this looks like. Whoa. Yeah, it's not ominous or anything at all. <laughs> all right, so is it still night? Yes, it's still dark out, so let's go ahead and... They're not... They're, they're... What? They're not monsters nearby. How am I going to set my spawn? There we go. That will work. And we have a solid surface right next to us, so we should be safe. So, I guess without further ado, here, here goes nothing, right? <laughs> Now, I just have to be careful not to look at any Endermen. Some blocks are disguised as other blocks. You're not giving me any hints on how to defeat a, a dragon. I don't, I'm not worried about blocks and ores and all that good mess. How do I defeat an Ender Dragon? That's what I, Oh, my gosh. Oh, are you kidding me? 
It started us way out here? How is that fair? <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never seen that happen before. Now, will the dragon try to fly all the way out here? Oh man. So basically what I'm going to have to do, and I didn't bring, um, I didn't bring a pickaxe with me. I didn't even bring any blocks. I'm going to have to try and slingshot over there and do this in one go. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be very, very tricksy. All right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was panic mode and a half. And I didn't bring a pickaxe. How in the world am I going to get in here? Can I break these? I think so. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Piggy. Way to go. He ruins it. Stop. Stop worrying about it, Dragon. I just have to break these things. You get out of here. <laughs> oh, I could fall down in there. Oh, no. I've got that lingering stuff. Okay, so... Let's see, if I, if I do this, will that, okay, that breaks that. As I say, I think we have to break these crystals, don't we? So that it will stop, oh no. I was killed by magic. That's not fair. <laughs> do we at least spawn back at the bed? Waiting for the, uh, there it goes. Okay, so we at least spawn back here. But now I don't have any of my um, my way to get over there. So now what it looks like I'm going to have to do is gather some blocks, uh, bridge my way over there, and try to pillar up and get my gravestone. I think that's what's going to have to happen. That's stinkerish. I can't. Oh, I can climb up here. I have my I have my glove. Did I keep it? And my gluttony charm. That's awesome to know. Okay, so I've got a little more work to do, a little more block gathering to do, so that we can try and get this done. <laughs> and then we'll we'll come back. All right, so I came over here and we have got ourselves some um, some materials. And you know what? I don't think I'm gonna need dirt. Let's get rid of that and let's get rid of that. Now here's what I'm concerned about, and this is what I don't know is gonna happen. If I get knocked into the void, like we've got gravestone mod, but if I get knocked, oh, I keep thinking we've got swimming, but we don't because that's in 1.13. Um, if I get knocked into the void, am I going to lose my stuff? Like I've got this really, really good pickaxe I brought with me, but I may end up losing that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Piggy, piggy, piggy. You don't have your bouncy boots of bouncing. <laughs> okay, there we go. I was going to say, I hope that there's no um, silverfish. And then the other thing I forgot was there is no, um, what do you call it? There's no infinite water source, so no point in bringing that as well. So let's get some food here. Get that at the ready. And basically, I want to take this pickaxe so that we can break into those cages. No, 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 piggy. You're trying to run away. We go this way. All right, so let's go back. We're going to need to bridge across to where the dragon is and then climb up and get our uh, gravestone. And I'm hoping that the dragon can't knock us into the void. And um, once we're in the void, that we basically lose our um, stuff for good. Okay, so the dragon's doing that. And I think the dragon can break cobblestone, right? So we'll have to give this a go. If this doesn't work, what I might have to do is gather up enough, um, what do you call it? Gather up enough obsidian to make a bridge that the dragon can't destroy. Might also need to gather up some enderpearls. Like we're in the perfect place to get enderpearls. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yep. That happened. <laughs> and I fell out of the world. Did I lose my pickaxe? I think I just lost my pickaxe. I kept that stuff, so that's awesome. Let's let's go back one more time 
and let's see if at least my gravestone is like somewhere up above or something like that. But if not, we we may have to like regroup on this one because this is... Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? There's my gravestone down there. <laughs> so with a bucket of water, I could manage to get down there and get that. Oh my gosh, did I actually make it? Yes, I did. Parkour for the win. But now there's nowhere else to go. And I don't see me fighting the dragon with a death note. That will not be happening for certain. I can't believe it. I can literally touch the end stone, but I can't get to it. That is so stinkerish. <laughs> hey, dragon. How you doing? Oh my gosh. You know, if we had like a charm of keeping... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and see how it destroyed the bridge right there. Now, it doesn't seem to be swooping down at this point. So I don't know qu quite what to make of that. But it looks like what I'm going to have to do. When it knocked me off. Okay, my gravestone is up there. Okay, so that's what we're going to have to do. We're just going to have to regroup. I'm going to have to... Um, Get me some more building blocks. Looks like we're going to need to use a bucket of water to get down there. So I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to go back to base. I'm going to get some, myself some more. You! You swooped at me, you stinker, and destroyed that. Oh, now the Endermen are mad. See what you did? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is going to take a little extra work. So I'm going to have to make myself some obsidian. Have to gather that bucket of water so that we can gather that stuff and swim back up which will basically have to be after the fight we'll have to salvage that afterwards okay we got this we can do this let me collect myself and i'll meet you back whoop, over here all right everybody i ran back over here oh 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 i knew it was gonna happen i knew it was Oh, I forget I didn't have my bouncy boots on. Got thrown for a loop. I fell from a high place. Yes, I did. Whoa, why am I on fire now? You stinker. Get out of here. I'm trying to do something. Go. <laughs> so I'm hoping the dragon didn't break my little bridge. I managed to go grab some dirt real quick and just make a bridge. If I can get across... It looks like everything's good. So let's let the dragon fly around for a moment. You go swooping that way. Let's just make a run for it. I was going to say, if I can get over here and get up to my my grave before I get knocked off, I think we'll be good. Oh, buddy. We might make it. We might make it. No, I squatted. I squatted. I really did. There. Where's that stinker? You stinker, get out of here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got our bucket. Keep all the endermen away. I can eat the food. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Doesn't look like I'm hurting much. Oh, that stinker. How come I'm... Oh, I'm trying to eat food too, but it's not working. Hmm. <laughs> yes, it'll be a little more difficult than I thought. How many times can a Pigglesworth die before a Pigglesworth dies to a dragon? Quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Are we keeping a running tally? Are people keeping track of how many times this happens? I guess the upside is that at least I've still got my climbing gloves. If those had run out, I'm not quite sure how I would be able to do this. Let's see here. I think... Can we get over to the gravestone before the uh, the stinking dragon gets to us? That's what I don't know. And it looks like that stinking lingering breath was right in there. Well, that stuff takes a while to get rid of, doesn't it? Where's the dragionis? You just keep flying around there, sir. Or ma'am. I think it's actually supposed to be a female. Okay, so... There. I've got that. 
Let's see. I'm trying to remember how this works. We have to get up here and break each of these crystals, I think it was. Okay, that crystal broke. Oh, you get out of here. You go. So if I... There, we got rid of... You go. Keep... No, 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 no. Oh. Whew. <laughs> bouncy boots of bounciness. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was going to say, the problem is, if I climb in there and try to break that, I think it'll blow me up. Can we... Okay, that hit that. You get out of here. Where's that lingering breath staying at? Can we hit that crystal? No, it's a little bit farther away. Now, what I didn't look at is, am I actually using up three arrows at the same time doing this? We got 20. 19. Okay, so it's we're getting three shots out of one arrow. How is it that we're not getting far enough over there? Okay, we'll have to regroup on that one. Um, let's see here. Maybe we can do this. I am glad that we're surviving a little bit longer than before. That's awesome. Okay, cool. There we go. So that's that. I've only got 15 arrows left. So basically what... It... Oh, are we picking up the arrows? Nope. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting a little momentum. But as I say, what I might have to do is... Um, if we run out of arrows, I might have to die somewhere where it's easy to get back to and go get some more arrows and then come back. Okay. And I think staying moving is working. The, the dragon's not getting a chance to really, like, uh, hone in on where we're at. I don't know. Now, the other thing I don't know is, do you have to get rid of all of these crystals or does it just help? Something. Oh, it's that stinking lingering stuff still getting me. All right, let's do this. Let's jump down. What I might have to end up doing is just climbing, climbing up there. Um, let's climb to the opposite pillar. Because the other thing is, I think if you're near that crystal when it blows up, it can hurt you, can it? I don't know. This is where Piggy's lack of knowledge of how vanilla Minecraft works messes him over. <laughs> Oh, man, and that is where I should have been fighting it with a sword. You stinker. <laughs> Somewhere around here is an Enderman that's upset. Okay, so... This is... Oh, no, no, no. You get out of here. I see you being upset with me. Although this will give us a chance to get Ender Pearls, which is amazing. Where'd you go? Come here, you. Before the stinking dragon gets me. Alright, we're just going to go for it. Can we outrun the Enderman? Say, if I can just get here. There we go. Well, like I said, we may need more um, arrows anyway. So let's see what happens. Does this destroy us? Oh, I'm still here. I'm still in the fight. Nope. <laughs> That's fine. We need to get more arrows anyway. We're on a we're on a supply run. But oh gosh, I yeah, that stinking little stinker right there. You are frustrating, sir. Let's see here. Let's get ourselves some more arrows. Let's get this sword. I want to get rid of this guy. This guy's annoying. You thank you. That was awesome. And let's see here. Let's get a little bit more food. Okay. Um, okay, so there's some arrows. We don't want that stinking death note. And we know where our body is, so we can get back to it fairly quick. Oh, I picked up another death note. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, I can't imagine trying to do this in vanilla with zero um, gravestones. That would be a might bit annoying, I must say. Okay, so where is... 
I say, you throw your fit right there. I think I died up here. I think that's where... Yeah, I was going to say, with, um, with no gravestone mod, without uh, uh, slime boots... Why are they all running around? Are they mad at the Ender Dragon too? Okay, so it looks like we've got one more... Oh, no, 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 no. I did not mean to look at you, sir. Why are you always so upset? <laughs> okay, so can we survive? I will survive. Just barely, but I'll survive. Oh, no, get out of here, stinker. <laughs> oh, no more spawns. No more, no more fiery guys over here. Okay, good. Get out of here. No. I don't need those. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest with you. I can't imagine how you would fight this solo in um, in vanilla. With no bouncy boots, with no graves, with no climbing gloves. Boy, I bet it's a chore and a half. But from what little bit I do know, it seems like this dragon fight is fairly on the vanilla side. It doesn't seem like the dragon's doing anything different or special. No, you stay there at your pedestal. You stay there and be angry. I've got to go over here and get my bow and arrow. And I've got to get my sword. What in the world? You need to stay over there. you got stuff to do. you got Endermen to yell at. There. Okay, so if I shoot it with an arrow... Nope, it only wants to be hit with a sword right there, I do believe. And did we get all of the crystals? I think so. So I think in that department we're good. So basically what I need to do is be careful to not get any Endermen mad at me. And to not have the dragon fire me off of the edge of the ledge. The triple shot definitely does help. Oh, I'm just so stinkerish with a bow sometimes. Let's see here. So if we run in... Oh, how did you do that? That didn't make sense. All right, so we'll get some food. Let's wait for it to start flying again. Are you ready? You about to take off? I'm waiting. I'll be patient. There you go. Ooh wrecked you made a piggy mad <laughs> wait you I didn't look at you <laughs> oh and I think I just saw it shoot like um particle stuff right there at my feet okay so another death compass we'll put them all right there <laughs> I was gonna say I don't have to keep track of it I can go back and look at the uh, the map when this is all said and done and count how many times I've died in the end. Yikes. So you guys are getting your money's worth on this episode. All the times that I've managed not to die in Sevtech. We're making up for it right here. Yes, we are. As I say, the real tricksy part is trying to figure out... I guess I should have kept my death note for that. They can pick up Instone? I didn't know that. Get out of here, you. I'm trying to do something got your linger stinky breath over here keeping me from being able to get stuff okay so they do get mad at the the dragon I didn't know that okay I'm waiting for you there's that hit there's that hit oh those endermen look like they were flying too all right so we'll look at the ground that's funny that Endermen would be upset with the dragon. Okay, so those missed. So let's see, can I hit it? See, I don't understand that. How is it that you're supposed to be able to get close to them if it can hurt you like that? One more death compass for the win. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, this is a, a chore, this is. I'm not going to say anything about this bridge because I don't want to jinx it. I'll say it afterwards. She'll just remind me. 
okay, you, you need to fly away. Thank you very much so I can get to my grape. No, 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 no. You keep going. Ooh, it attacked one of the Endermen. Did you see that? That was crazy. We do get a bunch of extra food out of this, though, so that's good, I guess. There we go. Oh, how is it that all the arrows are missing? <laughs> how is it possible? Now, maybe there's a thing where, like, you have to hurt it enough where it can't flap its wings? Maybe that's what's causing all that, is the wing flapping thing. Get out of here, linger. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. You go, stop, get nasty awful. Nancy Awful. <laughs> oh, now I know why people wear pumpkins on their characters so they don't have to worry about all the stinking Endermen. My gosh. We can consider this training for if I ever want to fight the dragon in vanilla. That's what this is. So what do we have? About a third of the way down? All right, so let's see if we can get through here. You're occupied with... Nope, 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 nope. Ooh, thank you. You hit me right... Oh, wait, wrong grave. <laughs> there, that's the one we want right over there. So hopefully the dragon will not swoop down. Will you? Will you go? Thank you. They're mad. They're mad again. Are they mad? Ooh, there we go. Nice hit. That's stinkerish. I could have swore that was like going to be a close quarters smack. No. It's like a rainbow of colors all over the ground from all my deaths, so. <laughs> oh, man. Did it just deflect my arrows? Don't look at the Enderman. I need to eat some food. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's get, let's back off a little bit. say wherever they're running and being angry is kind of an indicator they're running that way where is it you're right there oh my gosh how is this missing oh, more of that linger stuff who do you think you are trying out for the cranberries or something oh that's that's not fair the game freezes so I can't get away <laughs> Is it, like, giving off so much more, um, linger stuff now? Yikes. Okay, here's here's another strategy. Let's try this. Maybe we can get up high. Nope. Okay. I was going to see if we could climb up somewhere really high. And that way the, uh, the Endermen couldn't uh, reach us. But we could still get a, a nice shot at the, uh, the dragon. Okay. Oh, you know what I just thought of? I might have died in mid-air. Am I even going to be able to reach my gravestone? It'll be the Trixie floating pickles. <laughs> he belongs in a circus. Look at all those deaths. <laughs> it is. Look, I'm literally floating in the air. Okay, this is... Yep, here we go. Am I going to be able to jump down and reach it? And get my stuff before I take too much fall damage. I hear him. Okay, you stay over there. Oh, we did it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can climb this before the dragon reaches us. Where are you at, dragon? You stinker. Have at you. I still don't get that. How is it that we're, we miss? Now, maybe you're supposed to sword from the back? That should have hit. That. Oh, darn it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought that was going to fly off. Okay, so we're officially out of arrows. Okay, so what we need to try and do now, until we get a chance to go back and get some more arrows, let's see if we can avoid... Getting hit. If we can pick up an arrow here or here. It's like it doesn't want to give me any arrows from the ones I shot, though. 
So what we need to do is wait for... There, there you go there. So can we hit it from behind, maybe? See? Oh, there it goes. There, you get wrecked. How you like them apples, huh? I can't... It says unknown, so I can't even see how much damage we're doing. You just stay right there, please. Well, this is like the easiest fight ever now. <laughs> don't fly away. No, don't fly away. Okay, so we've got that figured out. So if I can just survive one more round of it flying and shooting that linger stuff. A little bit more. Don't look at the Enderman. Don't look at the Enderman. Keep looking towards the ground. Come on, fly in. Land on your little pedestal. I don't believe you can land on your pedestal. I'm so afraid to look up. I think I'm going to see an Enderman. There we go. There we go. All right, boys, let's go. We can do this. Oh, come on. Come on. Well, like five more hits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't fly away. Don't fly away. Just like one, one, one more. No. <laughs> it's not fair. All right, Enderman, just keep running, keep begging her for an autograph. Maybe that'll distract her. <laughs> there we go, there we go. We got this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We finally did it. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. And here comes all of the loot. Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it. What is this stuff? Ender Byrite Ore. I don't even know what that is. Come here, water. Do I have my pickaxe? Oh, I got an epic shader grab bag. An arcane scroll. Eight dragon scales. Oh, isn't there supposed to be like a dragon egg? There it is. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. I don't even know if I'm going to need it. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. Let's go back home. <laughs> No, I'm not worried about all that stuff while walking. Your player will change position. I hope so. That's the whole point of walking, right? Okay, so is there not going to be any um, any um, fire creatures? No fire creatures? Whew. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we did that. We made it. Yes, we did, and the armor is almost destroyed. Man, oh man, oh man, that was awesome. So if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. And if you want to see more of these as I release them, don't forget to subscribe and also click the YouTube notification bell if you want YouTube to notify you. I'm going to catch my breath. Yes, I am. I'm going to catch my breath, and then I'm going to go... Let, wait, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? We made it. We just got to do this and then do that. And I'm not seeing that crazy shaped one. I'm not seeing this shaped one yet. So we've still got to look, we've got to get through these. But we finally have a path forward, which is just absolutely awesome. So thank you all so much for watching. I had a lot of fun with this one, learning something new and trying not to die. <laughs> and I hope to see you in the next episode.